There's not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently beat me to the ball every play. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. Nothing else. 15 straight years. 12 Pro Bowls later, if you want numbers. I done saw all of it. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. So when you put on this, all I ever knew, because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even in the media guy. All I ever knew was effort would get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kids. Effort, which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you effort. Effort is with inside, man. And I'm still grinding because the next kid is talking about he getting too old. Keep watching me if I am. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do because I'm built from something. And man didn't create it. Every one of you men in here have that opportunity, man. But ask yourself the question personally. How much time you really waste? For real. Or do you really represent this? I represent it because it's all I had. It's the only brotherhood I've ever been formed to. That's why when I see y'all perform on Saturdays, that is my piece. That's why I run to the hotels. I don't need to talk to nobody before my games. I just need to see what I once came from. I sat in these same chairs you guys sat in, man. I sat around the greatest athletes in the world. And then I found myself totally different because everybody was asking the question, who is this kid? Oh, pissed off again. Another thing added to the chalkboard. I'm not asking nobody in here for nothing today. I'm not. I'm just sharing my story to tell y'all. Every time you think somebody got it good, man, they ain't always good. Somebody just, some, some people just make up their mind and they just grind and say the heck with it, man. Because sometimes that's all you can do. How much of our brains are we really going to use? I use mine to tell somebody today. September 11, when I step on the field against the Pittsburgh Steelers, if that's what God will is, there's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993 when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane. And the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance is the only thing that follows work is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. I ain't come here for nothing else but to tell you, if you want to do something, work at it. You want a better relationship with God, work at it. You want to understand why pulling your pants up is important, why yes ma'am and no ma'am is important, why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in, because it's presence and essence that determines respect. So all we talking about, the power of respect is never to disrespect. That's why I was the first one sitting down in the meeting. Um, I ain't got nothing to say. Y'all do y'all, I'm good. I got to listen. Something out there I need to grab from it. Sitting on the same football field at UM, 1993. And I made a quote that some people call controversy. I call it confidence. I said that I might be the greatest player to ever walk up out of the University of Miami. I did not say that because I thought I was better than everybody else. I said that simply because I was willing to put in the work to now be back here 18 years later and tell you the only brotherhood I still have it sits on my chest in a shirt form, but the eye of that real hurricane is found in my heart. It's this where it all came from. Same path y'all walking, same calves y'all going in, same green tree y'all walking up and down. 
I had one pair of jeans in college for at least two years. At least two years. Question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? Like, for real. I ain't got much more to say because I feel home. And when you're home, ain't much to say. Our work spoke for itself. That's where our swagger came from. Our swagger came from. We worked as a unit. When I came to the University of Miami, there was one mind, one set, one heartbeat. It was impossible to get to us. Because if you saw us somewhere, you saw 15 or 20 of us. Got to stop leaving each other. Got to stop hanging out without each other. The streets ain't chasing the same things you chase. There's manic temptations out there. Just stay focused, man. As a team, though. As a team. That's all I knew when I was here. That's what kind of kept me focused. That I finally ran into a team. And you guys have that same thing. Because this you, this you will never die. It'll never die. So it's up to you to carry that. It's up to you to carry that. And every Sunday, every Saturday, everything is talked about. I, I mean, listen, we're going to respect a lot of colleges. But there's one college that everybody wants to talk about every Saturday. What did UM do? What did UM do? That's all everybody want to talk about. We can be having the biggest game in the world. You won one yesterday? I know what you carry when you carry this you on your chest. I know what you carry, man. You carry a legacy. A legacy of greatness. And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout. Obedience after obedience, day after day. 18 years later, I'm here to say, hurricanes, we the only thing people respect the most because it's something about us that makes us special.